Hey, it's Izzy, and it's game time. This week, I want to talk about coming up with gamer tags. That is probably one of the most difficult things to do when it comes to starting your own live account. So if you're somebody that likes to live game, your gamer tag is basically your name that everybody sees. So for instance, as you can see, mine is Drive By Pooting. Um, I came up with it randomly one night when I was woken up in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. and I was super slap happy. Obviously, I'm more of a play on words type of person when it comes to gamer tags, but there are so many different kinds that you could really fall into any category. So for instance, the serious ones, okay? So things like um, XX Demon XX or Kill Shot, um, King Sniper, Elite Assassin, stuff like that. You see stuff like that all the time in live gaming. Then there are other types of people that like to do name related ones. So uh, for instance, my buddy Pat, I made him one that's Mad Patter instead of the Mad Hatter. Uh, also Slick Nick, you know, things like that. Um, people like to throw their names secretly into a gamer tag and just have their name capitalized so you know that that is their actual name in the middle of the gamer tag. Uh, another funny one could be Anthony you in the crotch, <laughs> something like that. Uh, now more along my lines of gamer tags, I'm more of the clever, immature type person. So uh, a lot of fart jokes and stupid stuff like that. I know I'm 27, but <laughs> stuff just still cracks me up. So obviously drive by pooting is a fart joke and basically means crop dusting. Um, Queen Laquifa was another one that I had thought of instead of Queen Latifa. Das Poot instead of Das Boot. Um, Winnie the Poot is my second gamer tag, actually. Um, my buddy is Codeine and Cambria, which I thought was really clever. It's a, a take on Coheed. Um, the Great Barrier Queef. Taint Nicholas is another funny one. Edgar Allan Ho. Pablo Escafart. Now, when it comes to these types of things, um, what I typically do is think really hard about normal words and what they could rhyme with. So for instance, if I want to do something with, you know, with fart or something stupid like that, then I think of words that easily rhyme with it. For instance, heart. So maybe the sacred fart. There you go. You know what I mean? Just like little things like that, that you could just kind of combine and, and just really think about in terms of rhyming. And then you have a funny gamer tag. Now what I would do for sure is write them down kind of keep a log of them. What I do is like text them to one of my friends and lock the text um, so that I can keep count of all the ones that I have. And then going back and looking at them later on, you can be like, oh, I really like that one. Or yeah, that one's pretty cool. Maybe I could tweak that one to be funnier or however you want it to be. Um, another easy one is your nickname. If you have a nickname in real life, uh, my buddy's a DJ. His DJ name is DJ Trance, and that's literally what his gamer tag is. My other buddy's a DJ, and his name is Doya, and that's what he goes by on here. So really, it just depends on what you want it to be, um, what you think fits you the most. But it seems like a lot of people tend to have a harder time creating one gamer tag that you have to go, go by for the entire time. So hopefully those tips help you a little bit in terms of rhyming and everything and, and trying to think of your own name in a specific way if you're somebody that wants to try to fit your name into your gamer tag. But have fun with it. Seriously, it's such a blast being able to, to create your own gamer tag. But make sure it's something you won't mind being called because people shorten your gamer tag all the time when you meet them on there. People either call me drive-by or they call me poot. And most people call me poot. And if you're somebody that doesn't want to be known as poot, then I would highly recommend not making your gamer tag anything like that. But uh, make sure you check out Legends Comics and Games Superstore. This thing is loaded with everything comic and gaming related. So make sure you check them out on Facebook, and I'll put their logo on the blog here so you can see it as well. And game on!